so guys now we are already familiar that how procedure call algorithm works so here i have taken one slide to write down the formal steps regarding how procedure call algorithm is executed so when the caller calls the callee function following steps takes place on most common linux system architectures so in order to set up a stack frame of the callee function into the stack memory the very first thing that caller needs to do is to push the arguments of the callee function in the reverse order in the stack memory so you can see that this operation is performed by the caller function itself then in the second step the caller needs to push the address of next instruction as the return address in the callee's stack frame right so the current value of eip register is then pushed into the stack memory right and this action is also done by the caller function the callee function then takes over from the step 3 so it is the responsibility of the callee function to push the previous frames base pointer register value and copy the value of ESP to EBP. So it is EBP, right? Not EAB. So you can see that the old value of base pointer register is stored into the stack memory of the callee function. And then the base pointer register value is updated as per the callee's stack frame. So after execution of this instruction, EBP register now stores the address where callers base pointer register value is saved in the callee's stack frame. In step number 4, it is the callee's responsibility to set the program counter. Here program counter means EIP register. So EIP register is updated to store the address of the next instruction in the callee function which is to be executed. So as soon as the value of EIP register value is updated to store the address of first instruction of the callee function then the execution of the callee function starts and now in the final step it is the callee's responsibility to push the local variables of callee function that is its own variable into the stack memory right and finally in step 6 the callee's stack frame has been completely set up and now it can execute its logic so note that here with every push operation the stack pointer that is ESP is decremented. Decremented means it points to the more lower address in the stack memory. Right? Because we push the data in the stack memory and the stack memory grows downwards. Similarly with every pop operation the stack pointer register value is incremented. So incremented here will result in the stack pointer to point to a more higher address in the stack memory. In other words, the pop operation frees the stack memory and make the stack memory available for further use. So these are the six steps that we have discussed in the procedure call algorithm. You may want to revisit the algorithm and apply these six steps in the same sequence. And this algorithm will be crystal clear in your mind regarding how the stack frame of the quality function is set up before the quality function actually starts its execution. Note that the code that I have written in this slide, which is in yellow color, is actually the assembly code. So I have written this assembly code here in order to tell you that how actually the procedure call algorithm works at the assembly code level.